Welcome to our first video. It's on real numbers. These first few videos should be a little bit of a review, but I'd like to remind you of some important concepts. So what is a real number? So real numbers are numbers with a decimal expansion. That's all they are. So any number that has a decimal expansion is a real number. So for example, 2.1 is a real number. You could write it down as a decimal, 2.1. Negative 1 is a real number. Pi is a real number. Pi is the number with decimal approximation, 3.1415. Five, nine, and this goes on forever. It takes an infinite number of digits to write down pi, but it still has a decimal expansion. Even fractions such as one half, you can write in decimal form, and so they are real numbers. Now real numbers can be plotted on a number line. So here's a number line. There's zero, one, two, three, negative 1, negative 2. 2.1 is about here. Negative 1 is here. Pi is on the number line just past 3, and here is 1 half. So those are real numbers, and that's our primary focus in this class and in calculus. So I'd like to remind you about what an interval is. So an interval is a set of numbers that lie between two values. So let's see some examples. So I could write down the interval 2 comma 3. Another way to denote this interval is by saying that I have all real numbers x such that x is between 2 and 3. So these are two different ways to denote the same interval but they still discuss all real numbers that are in between 2 and 3. So if I have a number line, here's 0, 1, 2, 3. This interval is all numbers in between 2 and 3, but not including 2 and 3. So we put an open circle at the 2 and open circle at the 3 to indicate that 2 and 3 are not included in the interval. And I'm going to shade in this interval here to indicate the interval from 2 to 3. Another interval could be the interval from negative 1 to 1. Now this time I put a different style of parentheses. If I have this hard closed parentheses, that means that negative 1 is included in the interval. So writing it down this way, this is x such that x is bigger than or equal to negative 1 but less than 1. So if I had my number line, there's 0, negative 1, 1. I would start at negative 1 with a filled-in circle, and my interval goes to positive 1. And you could even have an infinity symbol in one of the endpoints of the interval. So I could have negative infinity to 0. This would be all x values such that x is less than 0. And on the number line, it would look like this. Okay, so those are intervals of real numbers. I'd like to discuss one last concept in this video, and that is of absolute value. So the absolute value of a real number x 
is denoted with bars around the number x. This is the distance from x to 0. So when you see absolute value or the absolute value symbol, the thing you should think about is distance or length. So let's see an example. The absolute value of 2 is 2. Why? So let's draw our number line. We have 0, 1, 2. Here's negative 1, negative 2, 3. 2 on the number line is here. 0 on the number line is here. This distance is the absolute value of 2. So this distance going from 0 to 2 is distance 2. So that's why the absolute value of 2 is 2. They're two steps away from one another. This is also the absolute value of negative 2. Because if I'm over here at negative 2, this distance is also 2. So the absolute value of negative 2 is also 2. So again, when you see absolute value, think distance. How far am I away from 0? It's the distance of uh, the distance can never be negative. So that's why the absolute value of a number is always non-negative. Let me write one last sentence for this video. The distance between two real numbers A and B is the absolute value of the difference A minus B. So as an example, the absolute value of 5 minus 2 is 3. That's because the distance between 5 and 2 is equal to 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the number line, here is 5, here is 2, and this distance, the distance between them, is 3. So that means the absolute value of 5 minus 2 is 3. You can also say this is the distance between 2 and 5 because you're using the same two numbers. These are both equal to 3. Okay, wonderful.